Hello and welcome to this video on adding and subtracting decimals. Now this is effectively the same as adding and subtracting whole numbers if we use column addition or column subtraction. And the key is just making sure that when you write your digits in the columns, you make sure you observe place value. So let's say we want to do this first one. We've got 13.2 plus 4.5. Well, when we do column addition, where do we put these digits for the 4.5? Well, we can see that's the units digit. So we make sure the units digit here is in the same place. And then this tenths digit. So we make sure that tenths digit is in the same place. And basically the easy way to do it is to just make sure that these decimal points line up. Now we're gonna have the decimal point in exactly the same place in the answer. And we do it the normal way. So two plus five is seven, three plus four is seven, and then one plus nothing is one. Let's do the second one. We've got 22.2 plus, and make sure the decimal point is in the same place, 2.22. So we've got 2.22. Now, if we want, we could make that hundredths digit zero because 22.2 is the same as 22.20. If there's nothing there, you can just put a zero there. And then we can add in the same way. So that's two, that's four, put the decimal point in the same place, four, and that is two. One last addition one, and then we'll go into subtraction. We've got 5.792 plus 17.68. So put the decimal point in the same place. We've got 17 like that, and then 68. And if we want to, we could always put a zero there if we like. So we do the same thing. That is just two. Nine plus eight is 17. So put a seven there, carry the one. Seven plus six is equal to 13, plus the one is 14 carry the one, put the decimal point in the same place. Five plus seven is 12, plus the one is 13, carry the one, and one plus that carried one is two. So we get 23.472. Now what about subtraction? It's a tiny bit more complicated. This time we do exactly the same thing. So we've got 5.63, subtract, make sure the decimal point's the same place, 0.4. And again, that gap, we can just fill in with a zero. We've got zero hundredths there if it's not specified. So we subtract in the same way. Three minus zero is three. Six minus four is two. Put the decimal point there. Five minus zero is five. What about question five? 3.4 minus zero point. The decimal point's in the same place. Seven, eight. Now, it's absolutely crucial you put a zero there because you might be tempted, if you didn't put anything there, to just say, well, I've got eight and I could put eight there. But actually, if I put a zero there, we realise we're doing zero minus eight. We're going to have to do a borrow. Now, we can't do zero minus eight, so we borrow from this four here. It reduces by one, but it means we can put now that one here. And we now have 10 minus eight, which is two. And we can't do three minus seven. So again, we borrow from this, that reduces by one, which means we can put a one here. And then we do 13 minus seven, which is six. Decimal point goes in the same place. And then two minus zero is equal to two. And then the very last one, we've got 13 subtract. And let's be careful about where we put these digits. Well, the decimal point is effectively here. And we're subtracting 7.92. And as before, we have to make sure we fill in these zeros when we're subtracting decimals. So we can't do zero minus two, so we have to borrow from here, but we can't subtract one from that, so we have to borrow from here. So that becomes two, which means we can put a one here, which means we can now borrow from this. So the 10 reduces to nine, which means we now have a one here. 10 minus two is eight. Nine minus nine is zero. Put the point there. 2 minus 7, now we can't do that, so we have to subtract 1 from the next number, borrow from that, and then that 2 becomes 12, and then 12 minus 7 is equal to 5, and we are done. So you can see it's very similar to adding and subtracting whole numbers by using column addition or subtraction, it's just that we have to make sure that the decimal point stays in the same place.